Hello and welcome back to my RimWorld Let's Play series. And if you look closely, I have done finally some work off camera. Um, quite a lot actually, or not quite a lot, but a bit. So what I've done in the last episode, we expanded the bedrooms, the bedrooms of our colonists. And what I did was I added back the pot plants and I upgraded the our pet's um, sleeping area to a cloth or cloth animal bed. And also I added a wooden dresser, you can see it right there, or in greater detail, right there, this one. I added that here because it says, gives a small comfort bonus to all nearby beds. Placing more than one dresser near the same bed will have no effect. So it, I think it just means that it, well, makes their room more pretty or more comfortable. Also in here, I expanded our work slash research area. Quentin is researching. Also, I did some of that off camera, of course. Um, I added a machining table, a wooden sculptures, sculptors table, and a stone cutters table. And if we take a look at those in production, sculptor, a workbench equipped for artistic sculpting, and there's another one, machining table, a workstation for assembling and disassembling machinery such as guns or mechanoid corpses, which is really interesting. And also I added the stone cutter, cutter's table, a work table equipped to cut, wait, to cut rough stone into usable blocks. And if we take a look here, bills and add bills, we see some pretty interesting things here, which is bolt action rifles, pump shotgun, incendiary launcher, revolver, armor vest, all this good stuff. But if we take a look at, for example, the armor vest, two component, we only have five, eek. Um, but I figured something out, which leads us to the research area. Also, I ordered a lot to make some, a leather t-shirt and also we have some pants in here, which is nice. I'm going to try and let him wear those, but I did some research or rather Ferengen, um, completed machining, I believe. Was it that one? Wait, wait, okay, one second. <laughs> I think it was gunsmithing. No, it was machining she completed. Then I ordered gunsmithing. Um, okay, it's not changing this up here, but now we are researching carpet making. We'll take a look at that in a second. We got a raid to um, to handle. A group of tribes, well, wait, let's do that. A group of tribes people from the White Eel Camisa have arrived nearby. They are attacking immediately. Wow, they're not even giving us time. Okay, so seems like two people. Okay, one I can already see now has a bow. Um, yes, short bow and you have a bow as well. But we have guns and we have good surroundings. Also, if you see a bunch of dead animals, these um, temple wolves and also the wag, um, well, the temple wolf goes around and eating the animals here, killing them and then eats them. Or parts of them <laughs> because clearly they are not completely dead and what's this steel say let's get that hold um, but yes and I just wanted to get rid of them because I believe they can they might attack our pets I don't want that to happen anyway so that's why now this work actually killed this one and then we killed the water the work just to be on the safe side they are wild animals and we don't want anything to happen to our pets now we are under attack they are moving okay fast so I'm going to pause the action Johnny does not have a web or a suitable weapon so I'm just going to let him be I'm going to draft crafter I'm going to draft law Werther, and Fringin does not have a gun either where is second? There we go. Draft. Okay, get out here, get out here, get in position, and we're to get in position as well. And this is just to begin with. They are coming from this side. What are their intentions? Wooden wall. Horses. <laughs> of all the things they can attack, they are attacking the horse pin. Okay. Well then. Let's get you over there. Let's get Kiseki over here together with Law. And let's get Crafter over here actually. Or so we'll get over here. The Crafter will be here. Put them there. That should be. Looks like they're splitting up. He might be going up. 
So that is a pretty good separation right there. That should be enough to hold him. Law only has a bow, but we might be able to make a gun for him. Um, the reason why I went into the research area was because I think I know how to craft the components or how to get them. Oh, they're going around. They're going. Uh, he's going around. Yeah, he's going around. Uh, what's he attacking? Attacking wooden wall. Um, this is perfect. Crafter is taking aim, and these are slower for them to move through. Now I'm worried about him because he's coming around this side here. We do not have any cover on this side whatsoever. Now get behind. Well, the trees I think count as cover. Okay, taking aim. Nice. Need to get her to, to a better spot. Whoa, that was a close one. Open fire, quickly. Whoa, that was a close one. Okay, what about over here? Ooh. Whoa, they have a lot of range. Okay, Law, get up here. Actually, get behind this tree. Kisaki, get closer behind that tree. Oh dear. I can't deal with this. <laughs> um, okay, Hurta is hit. Okay. Wait, how good are they shooting? Shooting one terrible. He does not know how to shoot, so that works. He said he needs to move up closer. He's in some good cover right there. Let's go over there. Ew. We need this to be repaired as well. Okay, what about over here? Okay, he has been hurt a bit. Oh no, don't let it be ours. <gasps> no! What are you doing here? Okay, um, hold up. Where are you going? Going to bed, eh? Are you moving weekend? Oh dear. Um, okay, Kisaki. On draft. And wait, draft. No. I can't, for some reason, rescue it. They're fleeing. Yes, one of them did, died. Okay, perfect. Did, and I want to hunt him. Uh, what are you saying? Uh, okay. He's hurt. He should go heal, resting. Crafter, you will go and try and attack him from behind this guy. Kisaki will... Law will undraft. For some reason, I can't order him to take care of the tortoise. Okay. Because it is hurt. I saw that. Um, I don't know why I can't. Let's just take a look. Um, doctor... Should be able to do it. Especially Kisaki. I think it'll be fine for now. I'll keep an eye on it. Okay, he's going to rest. Oh, he's feeling that way. Okay, forget it. We're not gonna catch him. Let him flee if he wishes to do so. Okay, so... Unforbid. Strip. Unforbid. I'm pretty sure we had some graves over here. Pretty dark. Yes, we did indeed. Okay. That's right, you flee. Okay, and Kisaki, I'm sorry to wake you up, but go tend to him. The turtles is going to rest. Kisaki will be able to heal him too. Okay, unexpected event, but that's the things you should be expecting in RimWorld, <laughs> to be honest. Um, yeah. Okay, it's not too bad for now. Kisaki will take care of him. Uh, actually, Crafter, how are your medicine? Uh, it's almost the same. I might get Crafter off for this. Tending. Yep, tend. These two were supposed to get married too. I don't know when that will be. 
we'll see. I don't know how to make a marriage spot, so it'll just be wherever. <laughs> um, yeah. But yes, now that we got some peace and quiet, now that they fled, we will take care of the dead body in the morning, I guess. Yes, now you can go to sleep. Okay, um, so yes, for engine, uh, am I saying that? I gotta check that. Sorry if I'm saying that wrong, but she completed machining, then I ordered her to do gunsmithing, and then now we're doing carpet making. Um, if I select gunsmithing, craft simple manually operated guns like revolvers, pubs, shotguns, bolt action rifles and incendiary launchers, which is pretty good. This blowback operation, I'm not sure what it is. Craft simple semi-automatic and automatic guns like auto pistols, machine guns and heavy SMGs. So it gives some pretty cool stuff that we can make. Gun turrets, oh there it is. I haven't been able to find it. Okay, so we're actually really close. But I wanted to do carpet making. Allows colonists to build carpets to increase the quality of their environments. Which I really wanted to add here, here in their rooms. So yes. Now what I was actually wanting to do today was to go raid. Or not raid, but bust open this area over here. Because I really want to see what's inside it. Um... Now there are some small ones as well, we might want to take those first before we get to this big one. Um, Law hasn't finished this leather t-shirt either, so we might wait till that. So I'm just going to speed up time a lot here and we'll see what happens at daytime, which is now. So now they should go take care of this. Full healed, perfect. And then we might be able to go open that place up. So, Murta is now out of bed. That's good. So, strip her. What does she have on her? A tribal wear. It's not too bad, I don't think, either. Quality? Mm, it's not poor. <laughs> or awful. So, that's something new. I don't know what animal that was, or where that was, but I really kind of want to find out so I can hunt that timber wolf. Not because I want to hunt it, but because I want to protect our area and our animals. It's now fully healed. Wait, he's a scientist? He's an intellectual. Um, she's very high though as well. Crafter and Kisaki are too. I think Herta and Fernjin will have... Yeah, they do. Okay, everyone is pretty high on research. She was just the newest and I thought why not when her intellectual was that high. We are almost half done here actually. Oh, an eclipse. That's why, it's, that's why it went so dark. One of the moons of this planet has opted in front of the sun and eclipse has begun. Alright, fine with me. That means our solar generators won't be working for a while. But we should have battery power and the wind turbine should be sufficient. Uh, yes, he's going to do that. He's going to finish it. Perfect. He will now be able to wear that. Because he does have some complaints about the... Uh, dead man's tribal wear. So we want to eliminate that and of course have some good clothing. Okay, so you force wear that. And of course... Take on some pants. There we go. What are you doing now? Going for a walk. Okay. That's fine. So he should now have... Let's just go to gear. Yes. Nice. And that should get out of this area here. Um, ugly environment. Feeling bad. And observed corpse. Yes, we want to get rid of that. Uh, they did. Okay, perfect. So everything got... Move back, auto saving, that is nice. Okay. We're doing pretty good. Gotta say, this thing is still here. All that got repaired on its own. How is. Uh, the indoors temperature in here is not freezing, even though I've set it to minus 25 Celsius because I had problems with that when I did the off camera work. Um. 
Yeah. I have I have to say that I did actually record it, but then I decided, you know what, let's just skip that and then move forward because nothing really interesting happened. So yeah, that's why. Uh, one Celsius. We need automatic doors. Because like this, like this, so many people are going in and out and it takes the air comes out when the door is being opened and closed all the time. We should have automatic doors somewhere. Uh, auto doors there. We might want to take that as the next thing before we go to blowback operation. But yes. Um, now what's the thing you could do? Microelectronics basics. Um, comms console. That's the one we wanted. So if you don't recall, in an episode we got called that we needed to use our comms console, I think it was, um, which we didn't have unlocked apparently. So what this allows us to do is to trade with spaceships nearby and then, and then they will send the items that we buy down in parts. Um, crypto sleep caskets and also I believe this will unlock the ability to make components. Um, either that or you need to take out another one. There's also something where you can make a driller and then drill. There's a bunch of stuff that I don't know about this game. So remember that I am learning while doing this let's play as well. So that's interesting. We want to get going on that. Now we want the carpets done and then we want the auto doors done as well. They use power, but we should be good on that part. So, Ruta is playing chess, everyone is happy, Kisaki is taking over the research area. I like it. Doing pretty good. And we have a bunch of stuff because we have a very nice farm up here that is keeping us well with food. We haven't needed to hunt in a long time actually. So, I'm afraid this actually might grow too fast for us to use all of this food right here. Um, cook. Let's see. Okay, so it needs both meat and. Okay. Both meat and apparently also some of the other stuff. Now, if we go to. Fine meal. I'm not sure what that means actually. Raw meat and raw plant ingredients. Cooks a very complex meal from a combination of raw meat and raw plant ingredients. Okay, so to make those we would need to have meat in here as well. But currently we just have the um, simple meal which is raw food, which apparently could be anything from one ingredient. Yeah. Of course, we want to upgrade that at some point, but because we don't have a lot of mufflos, is that the name? Muffalo. There are other, other animals as well that we could hunt, like these and stuff, but I don't want to just eliminate an entire species. <laughs> that would be very evil. Okay, so everyone is now sleeping. We can now forward the night a lot. And I think now, oh dear. Diseases. Kisaki and oh dear. Okay. Now I've gotten sick from malaria. Ensure you have a medical bed and a doctor. Make sure that law gets proper treatment and spends as much time in bed as possible. Okay. That's bad, but we do have these Penosasai lines that should help fight diseases. Okay, so I'm back. I just cut out because I wanted to look what this disease is. You can look it up yourself because it's kind of technical. But um, it's a disease that in worst case or in worse, well, in in some cases can lead to death. So we want that to be fixed ASAP. So crafter, I want you tend to law, Ulta, ten not decide to doctoring. Okay, that's great. Is it because he can't do it? Um, medicine. Well, really anyone that can't 
or can should be able to do it even though their points are low in worst case scenarios but i won't let him do it here because i want it to be proper crafter can do it pretty good johnny i don't know about him nope a bit so she has it as well it should be high when it is necessary but i'll, I'll put it to three i want crafter and um Kisaki doing it mostly and I'll remove her attack just because he's that bad at it. So minor for now. But I hope this will cure it. I don't know why he didn't take these because preventing infections from starting oh okay yeah it's kind of late using those now <laughs> um yeah well then in that case oh no not a mad animal okay hold up i need to check this okay so uh tended okay that's good mad animal a local boom rat has gone mad it will attack everyone it sees okay Ooh, those are dangerous those are dangerous. Those need to be shot from a distance. It's hunting for man. And we had two of those circling the camp for a long time. I need him, Crafter and Herta, to be up right now. With their guns. And just take care of this right now because it's a threat. Actually, I don't know if they will be able to make it over here. But if they can, do it. Uh, they're moving slow. Nope, just here. Alright, so go here. Shoot it. Yes, perfect. <laughs> nice shot. <laughs> perfect shot. Let's see. Gunshot, bolt action rifle, crafter got it. Nice. Awesome. It's dead though, it's dead. Now we just need to take out the fires. Quick, it's not waiting. Wait, can you? Can you not? Not in home, oh. So just because it's not in home area, you, okay, great. Okay, crafter, care, to Kisaki, there we go. Um, that's going to spread, that's just great. Okay, that threat was eliminated, that's two threats. Um, I really wanted to loot this area, but I feel like a lot of uh, time has already passed and I don't want it to be too long, so I think I might cut the episode here. I'll just wait and see Crafter tend to Kisaki, see how the fire spreads, because that's going to be an issue. And this we cut down the trees nearby, which of course we actually do need to take a look at. So, orders, chop wood, chop a lot of wood, we want those chopped anyways, there we go, um, home area, it's definitely not in the home area yet, but this is part of the home area, okay, Kisagi got treated as well, it's still there, but it got treated, so hopefully it will, um, it'll be fine. Let me just take a look at how long this episode has, has been for now, up until now, and I'll see if we should go and check this area out up here, and I'll keep an eye on the fire. <laughs> so I'll be right back. Okay, I am now back, and Kisagi apparently is up and at it. That's great. I will be cutting the episode here, because it's been over 20 minutes, so I will be cutting it here, unfortunately, but in the next episode we should be able to um, get into this place. Let me know down in the comments right now if you would like me to bust open the big one or do the smaller ones first. We have a small one. Where do we have them? Uh, we have a okay small one here. We also have another one up here, I believe. Uh, we have another one there and another one there. So let me know which one of those you would prefer to see open. I have already opened one of those before or enclosed areas before and um wait is no one set to firefighting 
pretty much everyone. Okay. He's consuming his meal. There we go. He just need to eat. He he just needed to eat first. Okay, give him give him some time. Okay, to just sit there and relax with his food before he beats out the fire. <laughs> Problem is that's going to keep spreading unless we actually do that area. Um, Problem is, can we like home? Uh, unrestricted, obviously. Can we? Oh, what's this? Oh, configure what each colonist is allowed to wear and how to react to nearby enemies. Okay. Hmm. What's this say? Flee. Okay. Factions, history, world. I don't know actually how to oh manage areas. So. Um, anything work? I'm not sure how to change the home areas. I actually don't think I can. But um, yeah, I don't think I can. I think these are the sleeping. Yeah, this is the sleep. This is work. Also, we can actually say how much joy, how much sleep, and how much anything they want. I'll just leave it to anything for now. Um, manage areas. So I want to change the home area, but I don't think I can do that. I'll just. Uh, but if I leave it as this, it will keep. Well, burning down the entire thing. What if I make a new area? Um, new area. And I. Invert? No. I don't know how to set that specific area. Uh, you know what, I'll just leave it as is for now. I'll save the game and maybe do some research on it. But I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did... Oh, wait a second. Zone area. Um, expand home area. There. Fix it. <laughs> Quickly. There we go. Wait, what are they doing? Okay, just look, looked like they all went to the fire to try and beat it out. Okay. But while they are doing that, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, remember to leave a like, comment and share it with your friends. And if you're new to the channel, remember to subscribe. And um, yeah, they should, they should do this pretty, pretty fast. So nothing too big here. But yes, hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you next time. Oh, wait, it's raining now. Okay, well, no need to do that. Um, I'm going to... Wait, how do I do it again? <laughs> Architect zone area. Clear home area. I'm just going to clear this area right here. So how many is that? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So this area here needs to be cleared. And this... But that is handy. I can change the home areas. So... Yeah, that's pretty cool, actually. All right. Now I will be going. Hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you next time. Oh, okay, it's going away. <laughs> now I'll go. See ya. Have a nice day. Bye.